In today's video, we'll check out the Davoom Times Gate. A big thank you to Davoom for sending this over so we can take a look at it. This interesting gadget has five independent displays that you can configure to show all kinds of information such as weather, social media updates, clocks, and of course pixel art animation. We'll unbox it, configure it using the mobile app, and add the ability to monitor PC statistics and several examples of what it can do. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. This is probably the best packaging job I've ever seen for any product in terms of making sure it's well protected by the time it gets to you. First off, it's completely covered in a bubble wrap type material. Then there is a nifty gift bag and inside that, a hard plastic case. The boom really went the extra mile when it comes to packaging and presentation. The case it comes in has a felt type lining and the time skate itself is very stylish and futuristic looking. Keep in mind it doesn't have a built in battery so it will need to remain plugged in from the USB-C port at the back. In the case there is a small booklet that only has a few pages of information but it's translated for many different languages so I guess that's good. It also includes the USB-C cable and seems to be a nice quality braided cable. There is no power adapter included, so you will have to supply your own. Now let's get this thing powered up and check it out. Plug in the USB-A in into your wall adapter and the other end into the USB-C port. Okay, wow, that's pretty cool looking. Download and install the Davoom application from the App Store for your phone. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on, launch the app, and click the plus sign in the upper left. Select Allow, and then select the Pixu CD Wi-Fi device, and follow the prompts. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password. Uh, one thing to note, this only works off the 2.4 GHz band on your Wi-Fi router, so make sure your phone is connected accordingly. On my network, I have the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz band set up with separate SSIDs or network names. Click the Update button to update the firmware. You'll definitely want to keep the cable plugged in during the update process. Each of the five displays will then show you the firmware update progress. Once the update is completed, the device will reboot and display this cool little intro and connect up to your Wi-Fi router. There is a default display arrangement that has the weather information, a clock, sound meter, so forth. The Timescape clearly has a microphone to be able to detect audio levels, and there is a small speaker for alarms. Check out the sound level as I'm talking on the far right display. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Huh, that's cool. Each of the five displays is 128 by 128 pixels in size, and about 1.44 inches. After connecting your phone, if you click the icon in the upper left, you can change the default displays to view what you prefer to see. For example, I'll click this holiday clock, and it shows the time and how many days until Christmas. One that I prefer is this clock. I think it looks nice with the timescape. But of course, there are many more you can choose from. By clicking the icon in the top middle, you can create five different displays that can be easily set up the way you want them. I have three I've created to play around with. Just click the plus sign to add another. Then just click one of the five displays and you can assign it to anything you want, such as weather information, images or animations, clocks, social media, pixel art that you've created. It's pretty impressive what is available. Here's a simple example where I select custom, then use an image that I imported to my Davoom profile, the Wagner's Tech Talk logo. You aren't at all limited by what the app provides, you can easily add your own to any of the five displays. I think that's pretty neat. At the time of this recording, Valentine's Day was just days away. It would have been great to use this countdown clock to remind me it's time to order some flowers for my wife. 
If you're not interested in clocks, static images, or anything like that, you can simply add the Cloud channel, which will display artwork created by others in the community. And with the Visualizer option, you have several equalizer images that you can choose from as well. I'll pick this simple green one that takes me back to my old stereo system that had a similar LED display. Testing 1, 2, 3. As mentioned, you can have up to five different sets of displays by clicking the plus button. If you no longer want the one that was set up, just click the delete icon to remove it. The icon on the far right is used to adjust the brightness and LED colors. With the lights off, you can see the screen brightness adjustment a little easier. You can also adjust the atmosphere lighting. Or tap the color mode option to adjust the LED color effects. There are further customizations towards the bottom for various lights and lighting effects. On the top of the times gate are a number of buttons. The power in the middle will turn off all five displays and lighting effects. The light button will change the light colors. The mode button will cycle through all the various configurations that you've created. This clock looks really cool. Pressing the left or right arrow buttons will either dim or brighten the displays and the LED lights. Pressing the mode button will then cycle through any of your remaining display configurations that you may have defined. On the far right, you may see one that is a bit different from what we've discussed previously. It's a PC monitor display, but how does it get that information? If you're not familiar with GitHub, basically it's a way to share any code you've created with the world. This is a GitHub project called the Boom PC Monitor tool that is written in csharp.net and allows you to send this information to the Timesgate. You don't have to be a programmer to use it, only if you want to make changes to the code. Just download the .zip file, extract it, and run the executable. Select the device, the LCD to receive the information, and that's it. You can then minimize the application and the Timesgate will receive the current information from your PC over your network connection. These two YouTube displays are actually pulling live information from the internet. I have one display set up to show the number of video views on this channel, the other with the number of subscribers. There are many more social media type applications that you can add, such as Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Twitch, you name it, and each can be set up to display information that you want. This Davoom Timesgate is a very cool product. It's priced around $120, and I'll have links to it in the video description below. After this video, it will definitely be used for years to come on my desk for monitoring multiple PCs, social media statistics, and more. Really, the only thing I could see that would make it any better is to have a built-in battery, but I don't consider it a big deal. What do you think of the Davoom Timesgate? Do you own one? Thinking about it? Or just curious what it can do? Comment below and share your thoughts. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know by clicking the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel and want to see more content like this, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that, I look forward to talking with you again very soon.